Hey all, we are now watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 31. So in the last episode, we saw that, well, Doctor is dead, Scar got his revenge. We saw some flashbacks about the past, including the genocide of the Ishvalan people. Riza's got some sort of powerful alchemy thing on her back. That's probably a, what we call a, there's a word for it, like a... Plans to break out of prison? Kind of like, yeah, plans to break out of prison. But there's like a, there's a storytelling element to this where it's important for later. I forget what it's called. Maybe Matt Guffin. That's like an element that will definitely come and play later because why else would they mention it? Yeah, but with the doctor dead, this might affect the homunculus' plans, but we'll see soon enough. Damn it! It's Scar. Marco must have told him about his role in Ishmael. Huh? Saddest looking puppy ever. Yeah, but there's another puppy that's missing. It must have been experimented on. So, why did Scar take the puppy? I assume he did. I didn't even know there were dogs in there. I didn't even know that either, I'll be honest. Well, that's definitely not Risa. She has blue eyes. Well, Risa's got brown no, eyes. No, that's not Risa. Might be a full-blown war between this nation and the other nations. Pass this on for me. Tell the Colonel that Scar is back. Sure thing, no problem. <laughs> I just want to say thanks for telling me about Ishva. Man, Ed's very different now. Yeah. Brother, what's wrong? That's terrible. It's tough. Oh, that's cool. Show the time pass. They always tell each other everything. I love that. Nice shot. What are you going to do when you get your real body back? First thing, I really want to eat some of Winry's apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found a trace of hope for us. Hmm? You know how our alchemy would work when we were under central command? What about Scar and that girl? They were the only ones who could use it. Which means we haven't hit a dead end yet. Oh. You mean she's gone? The little obnoxious- <laughs> ah. <coughs> Hung up without saying bye. Still find her. But this city is huge. But we do have a clue, Al. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that creepy zooming. Well, I've got to get moving. You take care, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Dun, dun, dun. One other thing. Try not to slack off too much. Right. He immediately changes his attitude. All his guys are gone. Yeah. And worst of all, I'll follow you into hell if you want. They've even taken my queen. He <laughs> sees her as the queen. I'm still not in checkmate. Not oh, anyway. there's a message in there. Have you seen oh. this cat? Little girl that is a horrible it. drawing. No, it looks like this. The yeah. drawing is a bit different. Full metal. Colonel? <laughs> He's just okay with driving up to them. Speaking of, you owe me some money. So how about <laughs> you cough it up? Eyes on the road! <laughs> Was 520 cents. Don't con me. <laughs> I'm not conning you. Let's create some money with your alchemy. But I promise to pay you back when you become Fuhrer. Who told you? Lieutenant Hawkeye told me. Wow, it's just spreading information to each other about mm. everything. Go on and keep that money for now. But you will pay me back. Oh. Right, <laughs> Thanks for giving us a ride. Sure. See you later. I love being mysterious with each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. It took long enough. I was oh. getting tired of waiting. <laughs> he sat there all day. Hey. How you holding up, Roy? I'm barely holding up at all. Also, he needs some new assistance. Hoping you could cheer me up, but I could use something special. Hey, madam. My pleasure. Ah, so he has his own connections. Mm -hmm. General Roman. Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, sorry. Kimberly, not Kimberly. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're How doing? How dare you call yourself a member of the Chosen Clan? We refuse to risk the life of your engineer friend. Hmm. All right, then. That's true, because a few people know about, uh... The Emperor's health is only growing worse each day. We don't Ooh. have much time to find the prince. Oh, they're good. They're well disguised. Thanks, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving Also, he doesn't think he's a hero either. What are those souls? 
that we saw? What do you want? Well, his oh, family. I don't know if you actually exist or not, God. Just please let me enjoy the happiness of having a cup of coffee with my family. Mm -hmm. Aww. Looks like they did come from something. No. Oh. Wait, they well, left it with him? Ishval is now under our control, and all thanks to you. Well done, Major Kimbley. How did Kimbley. This stone work out? Possession of this stone. Traitor! <laughs> oh. So that's why I was arrested. On your feet, Kimberly. You've been released. Hmm. So who released them? It's gotta be the Fuhrer, right? Just my way of saying thanks. Kimberly, please! <laughs> I thought you could give it to your kid or something. Yeah, what a heart attack that would have been. It's been a while, Kimberly. Oh. oh. It appears he's escaped. Or we think he has. We're still sorting out all of the details. Also, he might not be dead. It's inexcusable if I've let a survivor crawl out of my path of destruction. Oh. We actually used Dr. Marco's assistants who helped make the first stone for us. Your cruelty's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> They're so evil. Just like such an evil guy conversation. With an evil guy. After all I've done, we haven't finished our conversation yet, Marco. Tell oh my me God. everything you know. He about has so me. many muscles on top oh, of his muscles. Immortality! Please teach me how to create the stone. How did you make it? I'm begging you to show me. <laughs> this, these guys are a funny game. You shouldn't desire such things. Ooh. Oh. The Philosopher's Stone was used uses lives. It will be easier for us to travel if your face is unrecognizable. It's I'll done. smart in a brutal way. Where are we going? We need to get to the place where I hid my brother's research notes. Oh, Jesus, brutal. <sighs> Okay, so it's obvious that when he said we need you to destroy a place, they might be talking about... Marco's village. Yeah. Either that or the Elric Brothers' village, but I'm not really sure why they deal with that. Anyway, either way, they're going to destroy something. <laughs> I thought it was... I thought they were implying Marco's village. Yeah. Because they want... It's a good way to get him to come back. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to destroy your village because you're not working with us anymore. Yeah, exactly. That was really smart, though, of Envy to realize that he was faked. You know, the body was faked. Yeah. He thought it was what like... He was actually killed. Yeah, one of the Camaros is gone. He should have just released both of them. Otherwise, that would be too obvious. <laughs> but he didn't think about that. Yeah, true. Or yeah. killed them both. So we got a new bad guy to deal with, Kimberly. He looks a little similar to Greed, so I'm going to get confused between the two. But, uh, you mean Link? With Greed. Well, Greed as Link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And both of them evil smirks. Everyone has got evil smirks. You know, like they're doing something like, evil. <laughs> yeah, we're going to kill them all. Like, they're just, they love smirking. That's the way they're... Being evil. I think they're quite easy to tell. I think it's just a ponytail that's oh, yeah, throwing. Yeah. And plus, uh, Kimberly seems to be a better dresser. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> throwing that shade at Ling. Well, we saw Riza leave mm -hmm. uh, Mustang's office. It seemed like they didn't know how to talk to each other after they've been uh, moved to different sections of the. Um, yeah, they're just they're just telling each other don't give up. Yeah. And Mustang definitely didn't give up since he's doing some sort of plotting still. Yeah, he's got a backup plan. Yep, and he knows those girls, whoever they are. <laughs> Madam Christmas. Madam Christmas. Santa Claus, clearly. But just the woman version. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, interesting episode. It's still kind of building up. Yeah, we're back to season uh, the part one where everything has been... Now there's intrigue ...restarted yep. to, uh, yeah. And Scar needs Marco for, uh... Or uh, his brother's research notes. That's, in that's interesting. Yeah, so they haven't killed off Marco just yet. Yep. In a way, it's good because it kind of tells us that this show does keep the important characters around. Mm -hmm. They don't keep them just for the sake of, like, fan service. They are important to the story. Well, they can't be fan service since it's based off a of manga, I think. So the well, whole story is still enough. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it seems like since the Elric brothers are looking for the girl... Uh, they'll probably, they might even group up and head to the north together. They might run into yeah. Scar again. They're gonna go up to the north, I think. 
a plot line out of the city, maybe. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to see outside of the Central. Mm -hmm. The whole plot of Full Metal so far has been mostly in Central with some uh, outside trips detours to outside. The, uh, yeah. Mustang and Ed's uh, interactions are so great. Yeah. They're utterly hilarious. It would be cool to see Scar with Alphonse and Ed together and see what they're like. Plus, I'm sure the little girl won't mind having Alphonse around. Yeah. But uh, it's a little complicated because Scar killed Winry's parents. They're not exactly fans of each other. So. No, of course. <laughs> so it'll be very complicated if they teamed up. But they want to learn more about the alchemy yeah. from him. But now we're seeing like the bad guy's POV. But we still don't know what their ultimate goal is. Besides maybe turning the whole nation into philosopher's stones. Who knows? It doesn't make me like them any better. I really yeah. do not like Envy. Or Wrath is more tolerable to me. But I really hate Envy. Wrath is a very fascinating bad guy. Yeah. He's like letting them all go around, like whatever. Mm -hmm. He thinks he can manipulate everyone. These homunculi are so arrogant. So that means Kimberly has been, has known about Envy and the whole gang. Yeah, obviously he knew about them. Is he a homunculus? No, he's not. He doesn't have red eyes, right? But he, he's also using a philosopher's stone, True. like in his hand, rather than eating it to use it. Mm. Well, then the homunculi are smart. If you can't make him your enemy, you become his friend, because he's so powerful. Oh. Good episode. Very fun. Well, hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to episode 31, and we'll see you guys for episode 32. Thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good day.